Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. There's a whole lot to learn about this video. For starters, I didn't know you could ascend a six star that wasn't rank five. So that by itself is something that I'm like fascinated by. But my man Steven Burris, better known as Stiban in this game, took his favorite champion. He has been obsessed with the Lord and Savior of my channel since before he was the Lord and Savior, I believe. Red Skull, along with Quake, Captain America World War II, Nick Fury, and Punisher. So really, to me, Quake and Nick Fury are the only two champions with synergies that matter in this. And he has, I think, just one rank four, six star, which, look, for people like me who've been playing this game a long time and have spent Lord knows how many thousands of dollars on this game, one rank four, six star is not going to be that impressive. But to me... The impression is the ballsiness of the rank up. And this reminds me of my man, Matthew Robertson, who doesn't even really play the game anymore because he just doesn't have the time to put in. He has always been obsessed with Michael Keaton's Vulture, even though Vulture is, at best, an average champion in the eyes of most people. But if you love a champion, I felt the same way about pre-buffed Hulkbuster back in the day and OG Captain Marvel slash Miss Marvel. I loved using them as four stars back in the day in Alliance Quest. And I also think that this is going to age hopefully like a fine wine, similar to my man Sweeta's rank ups when he ranked up somebody like Spidey Gwen before she got buffed because he just loved using her, or Kamala Khan, who I still think definitely deserves at least a tune-up with the Marvel's movie coming out, and that would really make her even better to use. And, you know, you take somebody... In the past, like Magneto, especially Red Mags, who was a meme, or OG Storm, and then you give them the right buff, and suddenly they're really fun. But what's impressive to me, because yes, this is the standard uh, test for Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, and this this is to me showing the need for a buff more than anything else. I'm not saying it's perfect gameplay regardless, but it's just obviously not something that you're going to get a speed kill in by any means it's just not going to happen you can't use red skull and expect this to happen but what you can expect is for him to be an underrated and dare i say underappreciated defender in battlegrounds now if you have the best of the best rosters if you're somebody who let's say you've got Hercules uh, awakened and at max sig or you've got gallon or hulkling or even corvus yeah red skull you might be licking your chops but if you go in wanting to block or hit into somebody's block i should say you could easily find yourself on the wrong end of a matchup where you took for granted his utility especially in regards to hitting into the block so yes this first test is, if anything, just clarifying why people are down on Red Skull. But at the same time, it's worth noting that Red Skull gets his say in really screenshots at the end of this video. Because after this video clip, which I do appreciate the power drain of the Special 3. I don't think I really have noticed that very much. And obviously the power drain into the block helps too. I think he should have that an unlimited amount of times. I think that's... That's part of what annoys me about Red Skull is that his best utility, especially when you're somebody like me who heavy parries, is uh, limited by his charges, which just doesn't make any sense to me. Other champions with their base defensive utility don't have it limited by charges. So that would help a lot. And then obviously his damage in general, his crit rating, his attack, he just needs to be better because... While he can be somewhat of a tank, he should be a lot better on offense. And I know that Kabam agrees. Okay, so we're not going to watch the rest of this. Sorry, Steven, because I just want to make sure we get to the next of it. But yeah, you can see uh, this cuts off at five minutes. But basically, it takes him five minutes to get Realm of Legends. Winter Soldier down, which, let's be honest, the best champions can get him down faster than this as maybe even three stars. Certainly high-ranking four stars. But this is not where Red Skull shines because, like I said, he has featured him in several Battlegrounds matches. Now, 
these are Battlegrounds matches that really are like growing player matches. We're talking about early of bronze where you've got people who use five and low ranking six star champs now. I forget that there are so many people out there until I get into Platinum 2 and suddenly those poor summoners are matched up against me and it's just like they're, they're probably a better player than me, but it's just unfair. Taking a rank 5 6 star against a rank 5 5 star, like really? But I get why Kabam does that because they don't want those players to automatically make it to Gladiators Circuit. They want it to be tough. They can still do it, but boy, it takes the right matchups and incredible skill to get past those tiers uh, because there will be tiers in the tiers, literally. With that being said, look at this. Omega Red hit into the block, dead. Less than 2,000 points. Amazing. How about Hulkling? This you'd think he was going to do pretty well. But again, I guess he got kind of impatient. And suddenly, his Hulkling destroyed a Warlock a heck of a lot easier and faster than the opponent's Hulkling destroyed his Red Skull. So you might laugh at this rank up only to see that in this tier, in this uh, area of the game, he can be a really effective defender. I was skeptical. I said, send me those screenshots to prove it. And then he did, and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm just wrong, and you are right. So congratulations. I still can't believe you can ascend to rank four. That is news to me. But, hey, you did it. Looks good. And most importantly, he is uh, your favorite champion. So that's all that matters. Thank you for the courage to do this, Steven. Thank you for supporting the channel. Can't wait to see how he gets buffed in December because you might be the one on top after this, and everybody else might be just saying that you, my friend, were the true trendsetter this whole time.